Hello guys, welcome back to Insel Electronics. So in this particular video, I'm going to explain why sometimes a breaker keeps on tripping or the fuse keeps on blowing when you're trying to turn on sometimes an SMPS power supply or anything basically with a huge capacitor in it. This thing that you're seeing right now is a full bridge rectifier. This one is actually designed for three phase application. It's a 100 amp capable full bridge rectifier. Right now, the whole setup is actually designed as a very high current rectifier which is uh, intended for some specialist applications so this particular thing the white thing is just the rectifier block two block two of the connections go straight to the ac mains the other two will be the dc and it is connected straight across the high voltage capacitor you can see the plus and minus marked in here there is a bleeder resistor the green thing that you see is a bleeder resistor and that is connected in parallel to this particular capacitor this is a 4700 microfarad 450 volt capacitor electrolytic of course and the voltmeter that you just saw in front is also connected in parallel to that and this is where the output is uh, can be taken out this is dc output and as i said this thing right here is a very purpose built rectifier it's a full bridge rectifier but when you're connecting it if you connect it to a variac this will work as a very uh, functional variable voltage high current full bridge rectifier module and this is a bleeder resistor to discharge the capacitor so that it will discharge eventually otherwise there's a huge risk of getting a very nasty electric shock from that now let me connect it to the ac mains and i'm going to show you why the breaker trips when you turn it on see did you notice that so as you have noticed the input current went up to 28 amps within a fraction of a second so that the voltage across the capacitor can reach up to 300 volts. This is a big problem with capacitors. When it is fully discharged, it's going to act like a complete short circuit and a huge inrush current is going to flow through the circuit. And this is enough to trip most of the breakers. And this is the same reason why sometimes you may see, may have seen sparks appearing from the switches or the connectors when you're trying to turn on some kind of SMPS power supplies. Because those things also contain a, a bank of capacitors at the input side. Again, you can see when even with somewhat 100 volts in it, the input current reached almost 20 to 25 amps. And that explains why sometimes the breaker trips or the fuse keeps on blowing when you're trying to turn on some huge SMPS power supplies. Because the fuse or the breaker that you're using is not rated for rated to handle this much high inrush current and it's, good. it's just going to keep on tripping. So this is one thing that you have to keep in mind if you're dealing with capacitor circuits. I hope the video was useful. Thank you for watching guys. See you with another video.